Hello everyone, this is Tina from Tina's Workshop. And you may remember that back in August, I think it was, it was either the July or the August Paradise Fibers, um, Fiber of the Month Club, that I had gotten some fiber that had um, flax and silk and merino in it. And when I went to San Diego, did not do this on purpose. When I went to San Diego in August, I had brought it with me and I spun it while I was down there. So there was two colors and one was this pretty green. And this one was 50% uh, Tessa silk, 25% flax and 25% merino. The other one, which was half the amount of this this was two ounces the other one was one ounce and it was mulberry silk instead of tessa silk flax and merino and it ended up spinning up to 34 yards and i was trying to decide um what i wanted to do this month with videos because this is national crochet month and so I'm like, okay, I really kind of want to do mostly crochet videos this month because it just kind of makes sense. And one of the things I wanted to make was this cute little sleeping baby bunny. But all the patterns I was finding was for knit ones and I wanted to do crochet. They're so cute. But yeah, the knit just wasn't going to work for crochet month but the bunny works good considering the fact that easter's at the end of the month and spring new babies popping up so i decided i needed to make a crochet one but again i wasn't finding any there was crochet bunnies but not the cute little baby bunnies and i wanted the cute little baby bunny so made one myself i used that accent color which i had ended up spinning up to 34 yards and when i was finished this is how much yarn i had left that's it that's all just that i was again not using a pattern i was free forming this whole thing and i want to take you along for the ride so there's no written pattern to this because i'll tell you why i didn't write a pattern I was using yarn I had spun and it's I mean you can see this one's actually not too bad the other one was a little bit rougher but you know the as I've still been learning the consistency of some of my yarns is not as good um, it's probably about a worsted weight but there are some areas that are going to be thinner than other areas um, so I I just didn't, I decided not to write a pattern on this one, but I'm going to take you along for the ride. And if you really want to try and do it, it's kind of explanatory as to what I do. I'm, I'm going to probably speed the video up a little bit, but I'll, I won't speed it up too much because I don't want you to be so drawn out and bored, but I'm going to take you through that process of what I went through as I figured out how I was going to create this little bunny. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how cute he came out. I was thinking about showing you now, but I think I'm going to wait. So he, he came out really, really cute. I'm really happy with how he came out. And I can't believe the amount of yarn that I had left. Um, I mean, it was, it was like I had planned it that way. And I didn't because I was completely doing it as I was going. Um, I did, uh, there was a couple things I did as I went that I, looked back at later and I went, ah, that doesn't quite work that way. So I flip flopped the way I had originally planned to do it. There was a couple times that I did pull something out and redo it. Um, but for the most part, I just kind of started going and I was looking at these pictures of these um, knit ones as I went that just kind of helped give me an idea of my proportioning that I wanted to do. But otherwise I just, I kind of went for it. So sit back, relax. I hope you enjoy this little thing of my process and stay tuned. Follow through to the end so you can see the end result because it is really, really cute.
Okay, so what did you think? I, I, I mean, as you're looking at it, as it's, you're going through the process, it's kind of like, what is this going to be? But I mean, come on, you guys. It's so cute. See, is he focusing in? Not on me, on the bunny. Look at that. He's so cute. It's his itty bitty little tail. I just love how he came out. He's so little precious. And I took I took a picture of of um of it in my husband's hands because it makes it look so much smaller in his hands than it does in mine. But I mean, a cute little sleeping bunny. And I I just I love. One thing I really like about the yarn I used, uh, one, that I had spun it myself, and two, because of the different colors that were in it from the silk and the flax and everything, is that when I stitched on the parts, you don't really notice so much where those parts have been stitched. Oh, come on, stop focusing on me. You don't notice so much where those parts have been stitched. It almost looks like it was all crocheted in one piece. And then you'll notice when I was stitching this part, I went in here and not around because I wanted the definition, the little line definition of that leg coming forward. And I, of course, the ears was the biggest thing I changed as I went. I flip-flopped the ears so that the originally the point was going to be this part and I flipped it around so that the point was here instead. And then I used the little um, needle felting needle a couple times uh, to tuck in some of the bits that were sticking out. But I really like how he came out. I just think he came out so super cute. And he's going to just look adorable sitting here with my other little bunnies and stuff. He's cute. Um, I looked, I thought about the one yarn I had that had a little bit of pink in it instead of this, but I decided I liked that one better. Um, so that I didn't want something that stuck out really strong. And then that one I didn't spin. It is spun, but I did not spin it. And I believe it's alpaca. Um, and then the eyes, I used a, um, I remember what the mixture was on this. Uh, it's a sheep's wool. I, I just can't remember what the, the breed is. Got my new little sign here with the breeds. Um, and for some reason, I can't find my label right now either for it. It was... It's not on that list. <laughs> Romney. I think it might have been Romney. Um, anyway... So this is what I used for the eyes instead of using a solid black because, again, I didn't want it to stick out really strong. I wanted you to be able to see that it was there but not just be so overpowering, these harsh lines because it's a little tiny baby bunny and it's, you know, it's not going to be harsh lines. So anyway, that's my little baby bunny. And I hope you guys, make sure he's in focus, I hope you guys enjoyed my process of making this little baby bunny. If you like this video make sure and click like click subscribe if you'd like to see more and click that notify if you'd like to be notified when i upload and we'll see you again soon bye